Oh my god, you guys! I'm so excited! So, we just got a delivery, and I've been waiting like weeks for this, and I'm just so excited because they're finally here. We got kayaks! Woohoo! Oh, I'm so excited! So first, I want to give a little backstory on how much of a process it was to get kayaks during a pandemic. <laughs> so way back on Memorial Weekend, which was like, I guess two weeks ago, so it's not been that bad. So two weeks ago on Memorial Weekend, our plan was to go buy kayaks and go like enjoy a bunch of kayaking on Memorial Weekend. Went to the stores, multiple stores, and I mean multiple, like we went to four, maybe five different stores that would have kayaks. And yeah, the kayaks were sold out. Like there was no kayaks left. Everyone bought kayaks this year because of, I'm pretty sure, the pandemic because everyone's stuck. <laughs> <laughs> no one's going anywhere, so kayaking is where it's at. I literally called around all different stores in Minnesota to find availability. Yeah, every single store, Dick's, um, Shields, Cabela's, like all the stores that would have the kayaks we wanted, none, no. And we weren't even being picky. We were literally thinking, yeah, we're just gonna go get some kayaks. Yeah, that didn't happen. So we ended up ordering some and um, we knew which ones we wanted because the first time we ever went kayaking was up on the Gunflint Trail, um, which is like on the Canadian border of Minnesota. We were camping and there was a couple next to us. They had kayaks and they were gone for the day and they came over and they said, hey, do you guys wanna use our kayaks? And like, sure, we never kayak. So this was like, I don't know, 10 or so years ago. And they were these kayaks, and we love these kayaks. We've kayaked multiple times on like other kayaks, but we just remember loving these kayaks, so we knew what we wanted. And so we ordered them, and we got exactly what we wanted, and colors and everything. So um, we are gonna open these up, and I'm gonna show you what we ended up getting, and why we love these kayaks, and we can't wait to use them. Oh my god, they're so pretty. All right, so these are the Perception Joyride Kayaks. The first kayaks we've ever kayaked in, and these are it. Now these are the 10-foot kayaks. So that was one thing that was really important to us when we were um, looking at kayaks. We didn't want long kayaks because of transportation and just easier accessibility so we wanted 10 foot we did not want 12 or longer or anything we wanted 10 foot so that's what these ones are these are the 10 foot ones and as you can see we have two different colors so mine is called sunset that's the color of my kayak and then my husband's which is the blue and the green that's called deja vu so um, that's the different colors. They have lots of different colors that you can pick from. Um, but we, these were the colors we wanted. So um, yeah, we got those. So um, we ended up buying the kayaks online, like I mentioned, um, from Backcountry. Um, that's where we ended up finding um, availability because there was like no availability. We looked at like shields, dicks, everything, and no one had the ones we wanted in stock. And um, Backcountry did. Um, just know it is expensive to ship kayaks. I think we paid an extra $300 just to get these shipped to us, but we literally had no choice because there's no kayaks at the store. And if we wanted a kayak, I mean, that's, that's where it was at. So, um, heads up on that. And plus then in the end, we were totally fine paying the extra because then we got to get exactly what we wanted, the exact colors we wanted, like everything we bought was exactly what we wanted. So 
it is what it is. So I'm just gonna give you a quick showdown of these kayaks. All right, so one thing that was really important to us when we were looking at kayaks, and like I said, I kind of, we already knew what we wanted, but you know, we did want to just scope out others. But one thing that was really important to us was all the different cubby like areas to put storage. We got a water bottle holder right here in the middle. This is for a cell phone holder with the strap, so it's secure. Same with the water bottle. You got this nice strap that goes across. And then um, these two things are like great for, you know, whatever else you might have, snacks or something, but it's all like tied down to, so that's awesome. So that was really important. And then of course the seat is all adjustable. And then on the inside you have the two uh, foot pegs on each side you can see them down there they're both adjustable and then also we have the storage in the back which is watertight storage so that was awesome this is huge you can fit like so much in here it looks small on the camera here but there's like a lot of storage in here so that's perfect it has the nice handles here that are built in so yeah this is the perception and then the joyride 10. That is the brand and model that we purchased. Yeah, so this right here is really nice padding since that's like where your legs hit. So that's nice. Cozy seat. I feel like I'm like just chilling and laying back and chilling. All right, so like I said, we got our kayaks from Backcountry. And then when it came to our paddles, this was another thing that we kind of just went all out and got what we really wanted. So we ended up getting carbon fiber paddles. So we ended up finding these ones that we liked at Dick's. So your most standard cheapest ones are gonna be like the aluminum paddles. But if you've ever held a carbon fiber paddle, it's like air, like this is like nothing. So when we were in the store at Dick's, we held the aluminum and then we held this carbon fiber and we were hands down like, yep, this is what we're getting. So um, these are the field and stream ones. And there's even like a fish measuring tape on the back. So I'm sure my husband will be fishing. <laughs> and who knows? I don't know. Maybe I will too. I don't know. It's got a matching pair. I was going to try and get one that was like the orange or yellow, but they didn't have that color. Um, so we just both got matching blue ones. All right, so the next thing um, is how we are hauling the kayaks. So we do have a truck and we were thinking about just using our truck. It has, you know, the bed to put the kayaks in. But um, after more research and just kind of looking at things, we decided to get a roof rack for our SUV. And we figured this would be the best way for us to haul them. And plus our SUV, it just, it gets around quicker, easier. I just, we just like going on trips with our SUV when we can. And then our truck's more like, you know, heavy duty type thing. But when we're traveling around and doing things, we prefer to take the SUV. So we figured this will be the best way to do this. So we got a roof rack. So I'm going to show you that next. Okay, so we have never had like any type of roof rocking on our SUVs, so this is kind of all new to us. So we went in and spoke to um, Shields, which is like an outfitting store. That store is in the Midwest, so um, for those of you who have never heard of Shields, it's more of a Midwest store. So after talking to them, they pretty much hooked us up with exactly what we needed. However, they didn't have any in store because they were all sold out, just like the kayaks. So we ended up ordering everything online through Shields, and we ended up going with all Yakima. Um, roof rack and equipment so I'm gonna just kind of show you what that looks like my husband installed them all by himself and he did a real good job so I'll show you kind of how that looks as of right now all right so first here are the two roof racks and this is the Yakima that's the brand that we ended up going with and we just have the two bars that were attached to these that are already on our SUV so yeah that's just kind of how they look and then we ended up getting the JLo um, holders. So because we have two kayaks, we needed to be able to hold two of the, you know, kayaks. And these are called JLo. And the reason they're called JLo is because these come down when you flip that little lever. 
they come down. So you can install these on the top of the roof racks um, and then when you're not using them, you can flip them down. So that was really important because some of them don't flip down. So we have to get those installed right now so we can get our kayaks on there. All right, so hubby is getting the first J-Lo. you call me? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we got J-Lo, put it on a J-Lo. No. <laughs> <laughs> installed oh on our roof rack. And it looks pretty easy. You just set them on top and then you just turn the little knob and it tightens right to the rack. All right, and I just wanted to show you guys like how these collapse. Um, so we got the red handle. You just pull that out and then you can flip that down and then put it in. And then when you're not using your kayaks, those aren't in the way, so. It's just kind of nice to not have them sticking up. All right, they are all on, so you can just see now, like there they are up, and then that's what it looks like down. So now we gotta get them up there. <laughs> the fun part. And then also with the Yakima equipment, um, they also give you all um, Yakima straps too, so that's really nice. So now we get to figure out the straps. <laughs> all right, you guys, <laughs> we got them up there. Oh my gosh, we're practicing um, working on the straps and trying to like figure out all that. And hopefully they <laughs> don't fall down when we drive. All right, so we figured out the straps. Um, we still have to get our strap um, for the front. Um, we have a access point coming in the mail so we can strap it to the front. So we're just waiting for that to come. And then we got the back strap, the two middles. And then once we get that part for the front so we can secure it, um, they'll be ready to go. So we were actually gonna go kayaking tonight. However, it just started thundering and I looked at the radar and there's like red coming our way. So <laughs> we're gonna probably get these taken down and get them inside and then probably go kayaking tomorrow or something. So can't wait to use these guys. So with that said, if you guys have any questions about the kayaks, the rack system or anything, be sure to let me know down in the comments. And thank you guys so much for watching. We are so excited to take these out and spend our summer kayaking and hiking because we're not traveling anywhere since all our trips have been canceled for the most part. <laughs> so with that said, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe so you can watch our kayaking adventures. We are going to be going somewhere this weekend. We're going to a state park to um, bring these out for the first like big trip. So we're really excited to do that. Looks like the weather should be good. As long as it's not like super windy, we should be good. So anyways, we will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye.